Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested here at Comic-Con 2017. I want to introduce you to David here who runs UD Replicas. We've seen your booth at quite a few cons yeah. and you guys have some pretty striking, uh, striking wear, costumes. So tell me what UD Replicas is and what you guys make. UD Replicas, we're licensed by the different studios for movie replica leather outerwear. That's a mouthful, but essentially what we do is we take the costume look that you see on film and they, where they invest a lot of time and money to design these really cool costumes, we reinterpret that into fully functional everyday uh, wearable leather outerwear. So to give you an example, you know somebody may look at this and at first glance would be like, wow, that's a cool costume. Actually. It's not a costume. Now, like all things, it can double as such. Don't get me wrong. But the way we've designed it is, is this is a corset, and this is four molded leather over motorcycle grade body armor. These aren't just holding the mannequin in. These are hollow behind. I mean, and, and this philosophy is, is everywhere, be it in our Superman, be it in our Batman, the anatomy, everything is made to have a function. So if you ride a motorcycle, the structure of the garment is made to be protected. Then we'll go ahead and throw in the, the CE approved body armor in the shoulders, forearms, elbows, back spine protector, and that's removable armor. But as far as the design of the goods, you can't remove the abs, but the abs are armored. You can't remove the pecs, that's armor. Same with the gloves, the forearms are armored, right? Now on the inside of the jackets, the standard motorcycle armor is in there as well. So if you ride, you're covered. If you don't ride, you've got the sickest jacket on the block. And like all things, we've got a ton of customers who will put on their Dark Knight suit or their Ben Affleck Batman suit. And they'll ride to San Diego Comic Con and you'll see them riding with the helmet. And they'll ride as Batman. And when they get here, they park their bike, they'll take off their helmet, put it in one saddlebag, and in the other one, they'll take out a cape and they'll take out a mask and they walk in and they're good to go. And that works as cosplay. And the best part is that at the end of the day, it's a jacket. So if you're getting too warm, it's a zipper and you breathe and then you zip right back up. So we try never to play the costume card because they're not. They're just not costumes. These are jackets, pants, boots, gloves, and belts. And at the end of the day, the importance of putting a mask on some of these things is to show just how accurate our, our stuff is. Because some people will come up and they'll be like, it didn't have that black dot in there. Oh my God, that color is all wrong. Oh, you totally screwed it up. Then we'll put a mask on it, all right? And people see it with the mask and be like, oh my God, you fixed it. You've got the color right now and that pattern is, it's human nature, right? So we show them just how accurate from a clothing standpoint you can get, but it is functional outerwear. And some of these costume designs from the films really lend themselves to work as as streetwear or as motorcycle wear. The Dark Knight was the first one you guys made, and exactly. it, it looked just like, you know, he rode a bike, motorcycle in in the movie. It um, That was actually a happy accident, and you're right, I'm glad you brought that up. He rode the motorcycle on film, so that's really where the idea came from. Let's make a motorcycle suit out of this costume design. So, I mean, our license is leather-based. Our products need to have leather base within the, the context of the garment. It's not motorcycle wear, it's leather base. So we take the leather and we make it functional, we make it motorcycle wear. The Dark Knight suit, I mean, when you look at this, you think, wow, this type of technology and product has been around for decades. Well, no, we, we started to work on the Dark Knight suit in 2009, January of 2009. We finished the prototype by uh, August of San Diego Comic-Con, mm -hmm. I think it was August the 7th. So nine months and $65,000 in engineering to create that suit because there wasn't any technology for it. I mean, we were four molding leather, we were shaping carbon fiber. I mean, it just didn't exist. And once we debuted it at Comic-Con, it not only did it go viral, which was a term I didn't even understand back then, um, but everybody was like, oh my God, it's a motorcycle suit. I, that's what I've dreamt of riding yep. with. Or I don't ride, but my God, that's the coolest jacket to wear to work. And that's where all of this took off, actually. So. Now, with a costume like this, obviously, something like a leather jacket, you're just going to make it out of leather. It's not that difficult to, to imagine how this looks. But how much R&D goes into making things, your leather, not look like leather? And how important is that to you that the armor here, while it's a leather base, isn't, doesn't actually read as leather necessarily, it reads more like what you the costume You have like. literally taken the hardest part of my job and broke it down into a 30 second, it's tough. I mean, case in point, okay? This is still a leather jacket, the gray chest piece, right? This is still a leather jacket, but it was so important to us to get the texture and the look to be identical to what Ben's suit was, and we weren't quite there with leather, so this is actually 
the same spandex used on film mm. in the Ben Affleck suit, and it's got the same rubberized print. Now the logo's leather, and underneath here is the muscles made out of motorcycle armor, and we wrap the muscles in leather, and then we put the spandex over top. So it's still a leather jacket, but got we hid it. the leather underneath yeah. because we couldn't get the leather. So how important is it? It is so important that I will turn the leather jacket into a spandex shell on the outside and keep the leather underneath. That's how important it is. Wow. And when you walk the floor on something like this, it looks, you can't tell that it's body armor, leather wear, street wear, but it works. Exactly. And that's the other thing. What we want to do is not, not make it look like people are trying too hard. And we don't want it to make like our, our suits are trying too hard. It's got to look natural. It's got to look like there's that wow factor. I mean, that's what you get when you go see the movies. There's that wow factor. I mean, as children, as kids, we all dreamed, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're adults. We didn't stop dreaming. We just don't have access to the cool stuff that the kids did. So that's where we come into play. We want it to, make, want it to look natural. We want it to look like it's easy to wear and God, it's got to be fun. That's it's got to awesome. be fun. Thank you so much, David, for chatting with me and showing me some of your Norm, costumes. Always a pleasure. Always awesome. a pleasure.